Hi everyone, it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. I am so excited because on today's video we're going to take this and make this a warm and cozy hooded blanket. It measures about 60 inches wide and about 42 inches long, but it's super easy to adjust to any size blanket that you want or need. These are super perfect for watching your kids play sports when it's cold or maybe going to your favorite sports teams. It's great for camping or whatever needs you have to stay warm and cozy, maybe just sitting and crocheting. That's probably what I'll be doing. <laughs> to make the hooded wrap blanket, you're going to need some bulky number six yarn. You can use any bulky number six that you have. You're going to need about 40 ounces. And I use the Yarnspiration Karen or Caron, however you pronounce that, Anniversary Cakes. The color of this is called Spice Soiree, and I really love it because it has lots of beiges and browns and this little bit of goldish yellow, and it's perfect for my blanket. So you need a total of 40 ounces of a bulky number six yarn, and you know your blanket yarns would work great for this as well. We're going to be stitching today with an L hook. The L is an eight millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle with a nice big eye to weave in your ends and you need a pair of scissors. We're going to begin with the blanket first and the blanket is stitched up really quickly with rows of double crochets and then alternating chain one and double crochets every other row. And even though it has those holes, this blanket is super warm. Now, it measures approximately 60 inches wide and 42 inches in length. But you can adjust that if you want a bigger blanket. You can add length by adding more chains. You can add width by adding more rows. One row equals approximately an inch and two chains equal approximately an inch. So when you're adding, add in increments of two chains if you want it to be longer. And if you want it to be wider, just add as many rows as you want to, again, in increments of two rows. We're going to begin with our slip knot, and you need to chain 87 chains. Now I'm going to be making a swatch of 27 chains because I'm not going to remake the whole blanket again, but I am going to go through and show you the rows. So I'm going to be making a swatch of 27 chains. You need to make your chain 87 chains. And remember to make this beginning chain just a little bit loose so that your row at the end isn't all puckered up. I have chained my 27 chains for my swatch and remember you need 87 chains for your blanket. All right, we're going to begin by placing a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in that fourth stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place one double crochet in each of those chain stitches, working all the way across our row. One double crochet in each chain across. I have double crocheted in each of my chain stitches across. Now I'm going to chain three and you should have 85 double crochets. 
I, of course, have 25 because I'm just doing a swatch. But you need to have 85 double crochets because we began in the fourth chain from the hook and those first three chains counted as one stitch. At the end of this row, we need to chain three and turn. And now for row two, we're going to stitch a double crochet in the next stitch. The first chain three counts as one double crochet, and so we'll double crochet in that next stitch. And then chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. And chain one. Skip the next double crochet and double crochet in that next stitch. Chain one. And this is our repeat working all the way across for row two. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next double crochet. And you'll do this all the way across your row. Once you have repeated that all the way across, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way across. Here's my last chain one, and then I'm going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the last two stitches. and chain three. And so for row two, you have the same amount of stitches. We just skipped one every other stitch. And your stitch count's going to remain the same for every row of your blanket. All right, so now we're going to turn. Our chain three on this row and on every row counts as a double crochet. We're going to double crochet in that next stitch. We're going to double crochet in that chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet, and we'll repeat this all the way across. Double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet, and repeat all the way across. And this is going to give us a solid row of double crochets. So I've repeated stitching a double crochet in each double crochet and a double crochet in each chain one space all the way across and then you'll double crochet in those last two stitches. And chain three. And again, your stitch count will not change for the entire blanket. Now we'll turn our work. Again, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in that next stitch. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. And so what we're doing is repeating row two. Double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, and again, we're repeating this all the way across this row. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. And I think you can already see how quickly this blanket stitches up. So we're just going to repeat that all the way across, just like we did on row two. And so I repeat it that row just like I did on row two, double crochet, chain one, skip one all the way across, and then two double crochets in the last stitch. Chain three and turn. And then for row five, you're just gonna repeat what you did on row three. One double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the chain one space, and repeat all the way across.
double crochet in the double crochet and double crochet in the chain one space <laughs> working all the way across just like we did for row three I completed my row five one double crochet in each double crochet and one double crochet in each chain one space all the way across chain three and then we'll turn and so what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat row two and row three for an additional 56 more rows now you can add more rows if you want to if you want to make your blanket wider once your blanket is as wide as you want it to be we're going to do our chain three and we're going to turn our work so that we're working on the bottom edge of our blanket and we're going to evenly stitch double crochets across the bottom and you're going to need to stitch 101 double crochets across the bottom of your blanket and so you'll have to fit all of those in and the best way to do this is to try to stitch your double crochets in the stitches not the holes even on these sides here where we have these holes at the ends of our rows try to put your double crochets in the sides of the stitches and not the holes and you need to have 101 if you're doing according to the pattern that I have written if you've added or subtracted you're going to need to have an odd number in order for the next row to work correctly so you're going to need to stitch a row of double crochet evenly across the bottom of your blanket and you're going to need to have 101 double crochets now again I'm only doing a swatch but you need to have 101 double crochets across the bottom of your blanket and then we'll chain three and turn we're going to double crochet in the first double crochet and now we're going to do what's called front post double crochet so we'll yarn over and we're going to go around the post of our stitch we we'll usually stitch up here in the top we're still stitching a double crochet we're just going to go around the post and stitch our double crochet there we go and then we'll stitch one double crochet in the next front post double crochet in the next and we'll repeat this going all the way across the bottom of our blanket let me show you the one that I have made so this is the bottom edge of our blanket you can see that my rows are going up and down this way I stitched a row of double crochet all the way across chain three and turn and now I stitched a row of alternating double crochets and front post double crochets across I stitched two double crochets in the last stitch and that's why this needs to be an odd number all right and then we chain three and we come back and we stitch back post alternating with double crochets across all right so let me show you that so here's my swatch I stitched two double crochets and then alternated front post and regular double crochets across and of course this is just a swatch yours will be much bigger 
and then two double crochets, one in each of the last two. I'm going to chain three, and then we're going to turn our work again. We'll double crochet in that next double crochet, and this time when we go back across, we're going to be working in the back posts. All right, so yarn over, we're gonna go to this side, work around the post, and this is the stitch we just stitched our front post in. All right, so we'll stitch our back post. Then we'll stitch a regular double crochet in our next double crochet. Then we'll go around that back post of the next stitch. And we're alternating a regular double crochet with a back post double crochet. There we go. And we'll do this all the way across. Till we reach those last two stitches and we'll stitch one double crochet in those last two stitches. When we get to the end of this row, we're going to cut our yarn and tie off. Let me turn this over and you can see those nice long ridges now and this is going to run at the bottom of our blanket so our blanket will be across this way and then this will be that bottom edge so here's my blanket here's my bottom edge all completed with those front and back post stitches that forms a nice ridge now this is the bottom edge the top of your edge of your blanket we're not going to deal with yet we're going to make the hood next and then we'll attach the hood to the blanket and then we'll add the trim to make our hood we need to start with our slip knot and we're going to chain 31 chains now we need to remember to chain our original chain just a little bit loose because we're going to be stitching on both sides of our chain. All right, I've got my 31 chains chained. We're going to stitch a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to stitch one double crochet in each stitch across. one double crochet in each of our chain stitches and then when we get to our last chain stitch we're going to stitch two double crochets in our last chain I've double crocheted all the way across I'm on my last chain and in our last chain we're going to stitch two double crochets one and two We began in the second chain from the hook. Our chain three here counts as one. And then we stitch two double crochets in our last stitch. So we have 30 double crochets. Now what we're going to do is turn. And we're going to be turning this way because we're going to be stitching down the opposite or other side of our chain. And in our very first chain, we're going to stitch two double crochets. And this is the top or the corner of our hood. And now we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each chain, working back down our beginning chain. One double crochet in each of the next chains. And again, this is called working down the opposite or other side of our chain. And see how it curls right there? That's the top or the back corner of our hood. I completed that row stitching the rest of the double crochets down the opposite or other side of my hood. 
So we have 30 on this side and 30 on this side. So we have a total of 60 double crochets. Chain three and turn. And now what we're going to do, our chain three here again counts as one double crochet. And we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets, working all the way around our hood. We're not going to be adding any more stitches, so your stitch count for every row of the hood is going to remain the same. And this makes a nice big hood that will fit just about anybody's head. So I'm going to continue stitching one double crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around my hood. I have completed stitching one double crochet in each of the double crochets around, which again gives us 30 and 30, which is 60 double crochets, chain three, and then we'll turn. And so what you're going to do, just so you can kind of see how the hood's going to work, is you're going to repeat row two 11 more times. And that's going to give you 13 rows for your hood. So you'll stitch chain three, one double crochet in each double crochet around, chain three turn, back and forth for 11 more rows. I have stitched those 11 additional rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 rows. We did 2, we did 11 additional rows, so that gives us 13 rows. And this is how your hood should look. Alright, so We chained three, and now we're going to turn our work. And we're going to be working alternating regular double crochets and back post double crochets. So here's our first double crochet, because our chain three counts is our first. And now we're going to go around the back and stitch a back post double crochet. Then we'll stitch a regular double crochet in the next back post, double crochet in the next. So we're alternating double crochets and back post, double crochets. Just like we did on the edge of the blanket. Here's what it will look like on the front and here's the inside because we're stitching on the inside on this last row. So double crochet in the next, front, uh, back post, double crochet in the next. Now, if you added more rows to your hood and for some reason you ended up on the front of your work, you can do a row of front posts and then do your back post row next because we're just doing two rows. All right, so that's not going to matter as long as you end up with your front post on the front of your hood. So I'm just going to continue stitching back posts and regular double crochets working all the way around the hood opening. So I've completed this row stitching from the back. We stitched a double crochet and a back post double crochet all the way around the opening of our hood. And this brings us to the front. Do my chain three. And now we're just going to alternate stitching our front posts and regular double crochets all the way around, just like we did the back post double crochets double crochet in the double crochet and front post double crochet in that back post from the previous row alternating all the way around the front opening 
of our hood. And after we complete this row, we'll be ready to put the hood on our blanket. So I've completed this trim, alternating double crochets and my front post double crochets makes a really nice edge on the edge of our hood. When you get done with this row, do not cut your yarn because now we're going to use this to attach the hood onto the blanket. Find the center of your blanket and what I do is I just fold my blanket in half and mark the center. I've got a nice big needle here where my center is because you don't want your hood to be, you know, off center. All right, now we're going to take our hood, pull this down a little bit, find the center of our hood, which is that center seam, and line that up. And then I'm going to take these and just pin it together. All right, now you can use straight pins or needles or whatever you want to try to make sure everything is lined up evenly. Again, you want your hood to be centered in the center of your blanket. All right, so got my hood and my blanket all lined up. Now we're going to take this yarn here where we ended here, go in. Let's put a little chain one in the end of that just to keep that from coming undone while we're working here. And then we'll go in. Grab that loop that we just made and bring it across. Snug it all down and chain one. And what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet the blanket to the hood with single crochet stitches. And you want to try to go through the sides of the stitches if at all possible. And that's going to give you a much sturdier row of stitches if you can go through the sides of the stitches and not the holes. And so we're just going to single crochet the blanket and the hood together with single crochet stitches. And keep track of where you started on this side so that when you finish on this side you have the same number of rows from side to side. Again, just making sure that your hood is centered in the middle of your blanket. I've stitched across, stitching my hood onto my blanket, evenly stitching single crochets, we're going to cut this yarn and tie off. This side over here we don't have to worry about weaving in, but make sure this side that we weave in nice and securely. We don't want our hood coming unattached. You're going to join your yarn on the front of your blanket and you'll know it's the front if your post stitches that are along the bottom are on the top. All right, and this is the left bottom corner on the top of your blanket. You're going to join and now what we're going to do is we're going to evenly single crochet up the side of the blanket. And it won't be hard except right here we have a few single crochet stitches to place and you can see I'm stitching over that tail of yarn. And now this brings us to the side here where we stitched our row of double crochets. And so we can stitch a single crochet in each of those double crochets working up the side of our blanket. 
I have single crocheted all the way up the side of my blanket and that brings me to my corner and what I'm going to do is evenly single crochet across the top until I reach my hood and then I'll single crochet around the front opening of my hood single crochet evenly across this side and then single crochet down the side of my blanket and so basically we're just evenly single crocheting around the edge of our blanket so I'm at this corner so I'm going to stitch another single crochet and then just start single crocheting across the top edge of my blanket I single crocheted across the top edge of my blanket and I've reached where my hood is and I'm going to make sure I put a single crochet right by the edge of that hood opening and then now I'm just going to stitch a single crochet in each of those stitches there we go And so I'm going around the opening of my hood, stitching one single crochet in each of those stitches around the opening of my hood. And then I'll finish up by going across the top of my blanket and then down the side. Again, evenly single crocheting around the edges of my blanket. So I stitched all the way around the opening of the hood and across the other top side placing two single crochets in the corner and then single crocheting down the side the blanket. Now I don't stitch across the bottom but if you want to you certainly can. There's my last single crochet I'm going to cut my yarn, tie that off, and weave that in. And now my hooded blanket is all finished and ready for me to wear it.